Hey, yo, check it out. I got all the cages in the game in every scroll, too. If you want to be as lucky as your boy, simply like and subscribe for some extra luck, and I promise you'll get what you're aiming for. Before we get into the video, if you didn't join my Discord yet, I highly suggest you click the first link in the description and join my Discord if you play Shinobi Life 2. In this Discord, we have a coach channel. We update you with the latest Shinobi Life 2 codes. We also have a scroll location channel. In this channel, we have a picture of every single scroll location. We have a server coach channel. In this channel, we're going to drop a document soon with lots and lots of private servers. Check it out. There's a document being worked on and every single code in this picture is currently working. So you guys could use these codes to server hop or whatever you want to do. Once the document drops, Drops, every section should be filled. You should have a bunch of Sand Village servers, Miss Village servers, Akoski base. Yo, join up the server, boys. We have a bunch of channels that would benefit you, Shinobi Life 2 players. What do you got to lose? Join the server. And if you end up not liking the server, you could always leave. What is up guys, it's your boy the Summer 2 and back with another video and on today's video I'm going to be showing you the five strongest Kiki Kinkai's in Shinobi Life 2, in my opinion. Before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, which means some of you guys might have a different list of your five strongest Kiki Kenkai's. So, yeah, my list might be different. It is what it is. But, yeah, drop your list in the comment section below. I'll give you feedback on your list and check it out. If you guys could, give me feedback on my list as well in the comment section below. With that being said, let's get right into the video. The fifth strongest KG in my opinion is going to be Senju Wood. Let me equip it real quick. Where is it at? You asked Senju Wood. Right here. Number four, for the King Kai. Um, I have, so this is the first move. Hold up, let me go find someone to demonstrate this move on. All right, well, level Z 1000 perfect. All right, so this move is honestly my favorite, and in my opinion, I think it's the most broken. Yeah, one of the most broken moves on this KG. Check it out. So basically, spawns these woods, and what they do is auto track your opponent, and they're always auto tracking no matter where he goes, they auto track him and hit him, and that's pretty OP, like, bro. That's broken. All right, so this is the second move, which is also honestly one of my favorite moves as well because this move, bro, you could literally do great combos with this move. So check it out. This move doesn't do that much damage, but what, what makes it OP and special is the stun. So if you land on your opponent, they're stunned. Check it out. Uh, the reason why the stun got away real quick is because he was next to a tree. So if that tree, I mean branch, but yeah, if that thing would have landed on him and stayed on him, he would have been sleeping for a minute, boys, and you could easily run up on him and combo on him or do whatever you want. So there's a third move. I mean, it's not OP, doesn't do that much damage, but it's a great way to like run away from your opponents, distract them. And it's a great move. Um, let's move on to the mode. I mean, the special move that the mode has to offer. So you activate the KG. Once you activate the KG, you have two special moves. <laughs> so that's the first special move the Senju Wood has to offer. And like I said, it has two special moves to offer. The second special move it has to offer is my favorite, and it's pretty broken, bro. It does a good amount of damage, bro. That's like 10k per hit. Bro, that, that's pretty good. All right, so this is the second special move, boys. Check it out. And like I said, this one is pretty OP if you land it right. Um, But yeah, that's Senju Wood for you. Moving on to the fourth strongest KG, in my opinion, which is going to be Clay in this case. Clay, bro. Clay is so good, bro. It's so good. You could combo with it, and it does a good amount of damage. And the moves that Clay has to offer, they're just super good. And the last move just does a good amount of damage. The one where it drops a bomb. If you land that bomb right, it just does a good amount of damage. I'll show you what I mean. So this is the first move. Decent, not bad. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's the first move, and it's cold. Clay style C1. Moving on to the second move. Which is honestly my favorite move in this KG. I, I mostly use this move when, when you know, I decide to use this KG. And you could easily combo with this move. Once you hop off the bird, you could activate another move right away, bro. And that's pretty that's pretty good. Now, moving on to the last move. The last move is the strongest one in the list, I think. Because it doesn't go to my damage if you land the bomb. It's a whole nuke. Check it out. Whole nuke. Look at that damage. I don't know how much damage that was. But let's see what he says. Guys, keep in mind, um, make sure you guys look at what he says because he's telling you guys how much damage each move does if you're interested. 50 to 60 k. Damn, bro. Before they uh, make play a little bit weaker, before it did 100k, which is a lot. But other than that, it's 50 to 60k? Bro, that's, that's a lot, bro. Now, moving on to the mode. Honestly, the mode, I don't use that much. Uh, it's not that special. 
you just basically, you know, spawn this dragon, you could call it. I don't know what it's called. I'm just going to call it the clay dragon. And with the clay dragon, you could fly around. You could attack players by pressing the left click on your mouse. Check it out. Every time I press it, it spawns clay bomb. Pretty dope. And that's the special move for clay. Uh, tags. Tags. 19. So 19k, I'm guessing. Yes, sir. 19k. That's a good amount of damage. Yep. All right, now moving on to the third strongest KG in my opinion, which in this case is gonna be the Sharingan, bro. Sharingan is pretty OP, bro. Like it's pretty broken. This is gonna be the first move for the Sharingan. Check it out. You saw that? <laughs> That's pretty clean. So he used it and I activated my first move for the Shaolin Gun and what it basically did, it copied his move and ended up hitting him as well. So this is the second move right here, boys. It basically puts them in the Jinjutsu and they're vulnerable, yeah. Once they're in the Jinjutsu, they're vulnerable for a couple seconds. You just can run up on them, combo them, and attack them. And that's pretty OP if you ask me. Now moving on to the last move, which is also pretty OP. Let me explain to you what makes it so OP. So let's say someone's about to combo you or attack you and you're vulnerable. You're trying to run away or just not trying to get hit in general. Activate the third move for Sharon Gun and any move they shoot at you won't land. Even if it lands on you, it won't do a single damage. Because you're basically dodging all the moves when you have this move activated. The copy style reflex enhance. But yeah, that being said, let's activate the Sharon Gun real quick. And the mode that Sharon Gun has to offer is pretty OP. So there's the first stage. I don't think it offers you anything in the first stage. This is the second stage. It doesn't offer you nothing except for the stats. This is the third stage. It doesn't give you anything, just boosts up your stats. This is the fourth stage. And the fourth stage, you can start using the Sasano. Hey, and that's what makes the Shaolin Gun mode super OP, the Sasano. And this is the fifth stage. Check it out. And yes, sir. That's Shaolin Gun for you guys. And honestly, bro, Shaolin Gun is pretty OP. And the Sasano comes in the clutch, especially when you're fighting, you know, hand to hand combat. That Sasano comes in the clutch. Now, moving on to the fourth strongest KG, which is gonna be the Rinnegan. All right, so this is the first move Rinnegan has to offer. And yeah, it's a mighty push. It basically pushes your enemies away if they run up on you. And let's say they use a move on you. If you use that almighty push, it cancels out any move coming at you. What this move basically does is pulls your opponent towards you and then once you pulls the opponent towards you, you catch them and then body slam them. Not body slam, choke slam them I mean. Which is pretty OP bro and with this move, you could do so many combos bro. Moving on to the last move which is also pretty OP. It used to be so broken to the creators buffed it. But yeah, there's the last move, check it out. Jibako Tensei. So it basically pulls your opponent into the air and they're stuck up there for a few seconds and they fall down. So you can easily combo on them while they're up there. But you gotta be quick. Longest KT in the game has to be Itachi's manga kill. But hey, everybody's entitled to their own opinion and you might have a different opinion. But yeah, in my opinion, boys, Itachi manga is gonna have to take that W when it comes to the strongest KT in the game. Alright, so this is the first move. Check it out. This move is so broken. So broken. Once you use this move, any move your opponent uses on you doesn't do any damage to you. You're basically dodging all the moves they're using on you. When you have the Itachi Manga Q's first move activated, which is called Copy Style Quote Illusion. And yeah, so once you activate it, it dodges any moves coming at you. And then once it's finished, you spawn back at the location you were at. And the location you were at last time when you were using the move clone spawns there and that's pretty clean bro <laughs> that's pretty clean check out the second move itachi's monkey has to offer basically puts them in a jinjutsu this jinjutsu is 10 times better than the sharon gun jinjutsu and once they're in that jinjutsu they're so vulnerable moving on to the third and last move that itachi monkey has to offer which is also another op move this is the third move check it out yes sir yes sir so any player that's near you Black Flames will go after him and attack him if you use this move. And those Black Flames do a good amount of damage. Now, moving on to the mode that you're going to have to offer. So, this is the first stage. Nothing really special. Yeah. This is the second stage. Keep in mind, if you don't get nothing from the stages, you're just getting the stat. That's it. This is the second stage. Second stage, you start getting the Sasano. You're able to use the Sasano, I mean. And this is the third and final stage. 
uh, my bar 14k per hit. Yo, bro, this is Sono so OP, bro. No cap. And the special move that Sono has to offer is so broken. So I think this move basically does a good amount of damage on your opponent and most importantly steals their mode. That's what makes it so OP. 58k. Damn, bro. So it does 58,000 damage plus steals their MD. Bro, that's pretty broken if you ask me too, bro. <laughs>